Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. So we are continuing on with Planet Coaster's career mode extras. Continuing with the downtown map with all of its security problems. So if you may recall, we have done a lot of the objectives so far. We have kept theft victims below 2% for two months. We've raised the happiness up to 80%. Down here, we paid off all of our loans, which is actually likes. We took another one out. What we really need to do is catch some pickpockets, and I was relying on security to do that. And that was apparently foolish of me. What we need to do is look around, and you can eject them yourself. So I did look this up. So we need to look for people who are on their own. Those people might be saying, Ooh, I just pickpocketed someone, because they're terrible. And if you look at something somewhere... Where is it? We're looking for their sort of ride tolerance, I guess, if you like. Ride, drink, other, food. So we spent no cash, this guy, which is a good sign that he's horrible. Ah, there we go. Fear preference and nausea preference. So he has a preference, so he will go on things because he is looking to go on rides which hit that criteria if you find someone on their own like this dude he's just gone on a ride it's a terrible example find someone on their own who has zero preference apparently that's an absolute telltale sign that that person <laughs> is a pickpocket so that's what we're going to do for the beginning of this video we're just going to take a look around for people on their own Keep an eye out for pickpockets. <laughs> Gonna check their thoughts every now and then as well, just to make sure. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be a little bit easier than this, to be honest with you. What we can do in the meantime, of course, is look at, oh, let's not do that look at hiring some security if we don't have any we do not have any so let's hire one two three four security guards and then we shall continue looking around for people who have essentially zero tolerance for rides and it's got to be people that are on their own i'm guessing if they've got a balloon they're probably not not suitable kind of hoping that they haven't just patched this out. This is still a viable way of finding them. But of course, it could be that Frontier have patched it so you can't detect them in this manner. Oh, oh, there we go. We caught security. Oh, we caught a pickpocket somewhere. Good job. Good job, security team. So we still need another... 11 another 11 we need so quite a lot you could say quite a lot so this video may be a little bit shorter than normal unfortunately i am recording this a couple of days in advance because i'm going to be drinking tomorrow on friday and not only that, but I'm recording it at about midnight now because I spent way too long. So I, we spent way too long painting the games room, giving it its first base coat, which is very exciting because the carpets come on Tuesday. So exciting it's actually getting somewhere finally. But yeah, we spent hours doing that. It took so much longer than we thought. And we spent ages painting the flat, so we should really be aware. Who's he saying stop to? This dude. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Did you just vandalize or are you a pickpocket? How did... I mean, you were right there. Excellent, okay. I'm, sh I'm hoping she's a vandal because she has a ride preference. 
I'm hoping we're not just completely looking at a red herring here. Did that person get ejected? I'm thinking, yeah, because her happiness is really low and she's complaining about the rubbish, I'm thinking she was a vandal rather than a pickpocket. So we haven't found a pickpocket yet. I didn't think the park would be full of them, but I thought we'd come across one at some point. So I'm guessing that didn't count as a pickpocket. We are up to six though. We have actually, for some reason, just started catching a few more, which is awesome. I think if you, some ca if you catch someone coming into the park, this is another little potential red flag. If, if you catch someone coming into the park with no money on them, that's a good indication that they are here to rob people. Because they didn't come in with any intention of riding anything, obviously. Oh, you are. You're an employee. So you're probably not a pickpocket. I hope you're not a pickpocket. Jesus. That would be embarrassing. Can't see anyone on their own apart from this dude. Who are you? And why are you running? Where are you? Where did you go? You. She's happy, but... But she was being chased by the security guards. She spent no money on rides. But she has spent $10 on drinks. The security spotted her. How do we? Oh no. Ah, oh, sod. Sod. I have no idea where that was. I was just trying to figure out how you actually eject someone if you do find them. Do I press the T button? No, but I did then. Why can't I move very fast? Is because it's centered on something? There we go. So we just choose a random person. How would we kick him out if we wanted to? Eject group. There we go. Okay, so we will spend a few more minutes, unfortunately, unfortunately for you at the very least, just looking for pickpockets. So we are still on six. So we have caught a few this video. It would be nice if... Where's the money thing? There it is. So they spent money, so they're probably not a pickpocket. It would be nice if we actually found one, just to... Just to allay my fear, so I know that you can actually catch them in this method. <laughs> Someone on their own who hasn't spent any money. Who has zero tolerance for rides. It's awkward, isn't it? So in the meantime, we are at least making a bit of money, which is nice, because we are going to have to do some building of some things at some point. Why are you running? Not sure, not sure. Guest happiness still says it is above 80, or at least we still have that achievement. I was a little bit concerned where can we see guest happiness? That if it dropped below... Well, that doesn't really help, does it? What does that mean? If it dropped below 80, we might lose that objective. <laughs> what was that? That guard must be chasing someone. They probably are. That guard is flying by. I wish I saw him. Then maybe I'll be able to figure out... who he was chasing. Oh, we got a little bit slow there, didn't it? Well, 
I'm not entirely convinced this is a viable method of finding anyone anymore. I'm sure it was at some point. But it doesn't seem to be working now, does it? What about if we keep an eye on our security bulletins? Where are they? Yeah, if we keep an eye and see something pop up, we can always zoom over there and see if we can spot anyone suspicious. Because right now, you look suspicious. Nope. Right now I'm struggling with this. We haven't caught any more. Where is that? There's a theft over here somewhere. I can't see any single person walking away. That's a bin. Probably can't arrest a bin. One thing I did forget to mention last time round, of course, I think we, uh, I think the news came out on the day I recorded it. I was very excited about it and then just didn't mention it at all, which was brilliant. But Frontier have announced that they are going to be doing a Jurassic World theme park game. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that has got me super, super excited. I'm sure a few of you also played Operation Genesis which was a Jurassic Park theme park game, and it was awesome. As well as this being a generally fairly good theme park game, the ability to just get a bit bored, oh. unleash the T-Rex or the Velociraptors and just watch them cause havoc was amazing. So I'm quite excited about that. The other nice thing was there's only like a cinematic teaser so far. There are, There's no... Uh, why are you running? Don't know. It's only a cinematic teaser so far. There's no gameplay. It's not due out until next year, so there's some time to go. But the cinematic teaser was just a T-Rex busting out of his cage and going mental on people. Like fully eating at least one person. Which is awesome, because that means they're hopefully going to fully embrace that, that side of it. So hopefully you can actually kill people in it, which would be nice. Obviously, that's a slightly horrible thing to say. But these little things kind of... I guess it matters a bit more in a game which is... Uh, based purely around dinosaurs being dangerous. I'm just going to change the lighting, fix the lighting, so we can actually see a bit better. This is not working, is it? This is not working. I do not know how we are supposed to find... Hmm, and I'm not making that much money either. If we look at our... Finances... Oh, in fact, no, I take that back for me. $4,000 this month, almost. How did that happen? Ride and ticket sales went up hugely. Well, compared to last month, I guess last month we probably uh, went up about 4,000. So we haven't actually quite hit that 5,000 a month yet. We're up to nine pickpockets though. I might, I might train up all of these security guards. We'll just give them 210. I'm assuming that makes them a little bit more efficient. You would hope so, wouldn't you? Otherwise, what's the point? So they are getting there. I don't know why they were so useless last video at catching anyone, but they do seem to be getting there today. So, let's speed everything up. We'll let them do their thing. 
Troy just saw someone running off then. Very suspicious. And we... We need to worry about theft and stuff, but we'll worry about that later, I think. Oh, we're losing money. It's because the whirlwind broke down. Which was the whirlwind? Oh, this one. Oh. Our moneymaker just broke down. Where's the engineer? There he is. Yeah, that's not good. Might even request a refurb of it. How do we do that? Not priority pass. Press refurbishment. There we go. Seeing as he's right there. Let's do that. That'll hopefully stop it breaking down quite as much. There we go. So that should be back up and running now, making us a bit of money. We did it did cost us a little bit, but not huge amounts. More security is unhappy. Let's slow everything down a minute. Have you caught any more? That's the question. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I can't train them up again until the 25th. So, do we have some rides we can build? What do we have? The big wheel we have. The chairoplane. I don't think we have a chairoplane, do we? No. The elixir we have. Gears of Fear. That's that one, I think, isn't it? Pretty sure. Yes. Hellion ring. Well, let's just start off with the chairoplane. That's something we don't have. We are going to think about building some coasters at some point as well. So, should we just leave this space? It's nicely coaster shaped. And we just fill in this bit down here. Let's do that. Let's fill in this bit down here. He's thinking about quitting and it's just hit the 25th of August. So let's train them all up again. Let's keep these same ones going. Uh, 235 seems reasonable. So people are saying that the whirlwind is getting old and don't really want to ride it anymore. So what we could do is just do a bit of a rebranding for it. Or should we just let it get down to the classic? Let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. Let's build this chair or plane. I'm going to leave a bit of a gap. So I think we're going to have to want a path. Well, are we going to want a path coming down? I think we probably will want a path about there. Won't we? So I'll leave a little bit of a gap. Oh, immediately undo. Immediately undo that. Let's spin it around. We'll have the exit on the main path. But what I might do is build a path through here to connect the queue to. And we'll bring it down to a right to the end. And at some point you can bring that up to join up again there. So let's place the entrance. We'll place it up the back there. The exit right there and connect the entrance to a path. Now this is gonna have basically no scenery rating whatsoever. Oh, everything's slow. Let's speed everything up. So let's pop down a couple of bins. And we'll put one up there as well. Let's plop a camera down there. And then we will go mental with little yellow flowers. So we're going to need quite a lot to get it up. So let's put down just hundreds, I guess hundreds of these. Money's still going down. Oh, it's, it's going up a little bit there. A few security people have quit, probably all of them at that stage. How's that doing for, ah, beautiful. Pump the price up to $7 and open it up. There's that one. Still a lot of litter in the park, apparently should probably think about training up 
some of these do. Now, there's the janitors take more. No, is it this? Yeah, the janitors take. Oh no, cancel. Jesus. Two thirty. No, two twenty. What's happening? Two twenty. There we go. So we will boost up the janitors. Stop it. Two two o. Oh. Two two o. Oh. Am I now massively overpaying them? Does that say 150 rather than 190? Oof. Well, not, not, not that guy. That guy's going to get 180. Oh well. I'm tired and I can't really see very well, so... That's my excuse for that, I guess. This dude is quite miserable, so we're going to have to train him. I'll probably give him 400, I guess. Jesus. And we're probably completely out of security guards at this point. We are up to 10 now, though, so it did work hiring those four security guards. So we will have to hire some more. Make sure we've got none. We have none. We'll hire a few security guards. Make sure that's four. No, only three. That's what I thought. Wasn't too sure if I misclicked on one. Let's purchase another one. And then what else we got in terms of rides? So that one we can't afford yet. The hyperspin? Do we have a hyperspin? I don't know. I feel like we do. But we don't. I'm a liar. Okay, so hyperspin it is. Where's the little... There it is. So we'll put that down here. The entrance we should place at the back. The exit right at the front. And connect it to a path. Connect it to a path. Connect it to a queue, I guess is what I should say. I'm going to have to bear with me one moment because the cat is being a pillock, of course. So I should be back momentarily. Okay, so the cat has now come and joined me on the couch. And he settled down straight away, which is nice. So, the hyperspin, what were we doing? We were getting some scenery down. That's what we were doing. So we want a couple of bins. We want a security camera. Which we'll put right there. And then we want lots of these little flowers. Now it had a relatively high rate on already, so we probably don't need to go too mental. Not like we did with the hyperspin. Or the chairplane, sorry. Because this is the hyperspin. How's that doing? Beautiful. So we will pop that up to $6. And we will open it up. So let's slow everything down. Let's check our staff. Have you caught any more? Oh, you have. Good people. You are almost there, actually. Almost there. And you kept victims below for four months now. So we do need to keep that as is. So let's train up and let's have a look. 187. So what did we do last time? It's normally about 20. So we'll do 210. And then we can train them up again on the 18th of March. 18th of March? And it's October. That seems insane. But okay, whatever. So that is open. We'll speed the game up. Can we get something small in there? Which costs 1300 or less. <laughs> no. The answer to that is no, we can't. How big is this one? Oh, we might just be able to fit that in there. Don't know where the queue would go, though. Kickflip's normally good for being small, isn't it? Yeah, the kickflip would probably be okay. So that's what we'll put in there, but we need some more money first. So we'll let that build up a little bit, which it's not really doing. It's not really doing. So let's take a look at our things. That's closed because that was just losing us money. The big wheel is losing us money. 
The big wheel is losing us money. Why don't people like you? It's really good value. It is really good value. You're entirely correct. Is that the only thought people have about you? That you are good value. It's not enough. It's not enough. I don't know what else to do. What about shops? Making money, making money, making money, making money. Everything's making money. That's awesome. Security guards are unhappy despite just being trained up. Still says the 18th of March. Oh, we're not far off, actually. So we will be able to get another level of training out of them. Oh, and we are close to getting those pickpockets as well. And that's almost there. So we'll have to keep those, even if we catch the pickpockets, we'll have to keep those up to get those uh, six consecutive months. And then we need to sustain monthly profit of 5,000. I mean, they might have long queue times just because they're very popular. I don't know what to do about that. Did they just quit or is that a previous? No, it's a previous one. Um, what was I looking at? Attractions and shops. We looked at that. Uh, we were looking at overview. Litter is disgusting. The queue was full. People do want more drinks, but there are no real drink things that I'm aware of. Oh, there's a coffee place. Let's try opening that up. People are complaining the Cosmic Cow's full, so they can go there instead. I might even try opening up. Monsieur Freak. Whilst we're at it, see how they go. See how they go. See, some of these queues are really busy, but that's not a bad thing. You know, not a bad thing at all. This queue, not so busy. It's very new, though. Although I would hope there'd be a few more people making their way down there. So we'll have to see if something happens with that. Hopefully it will. How much is the kickflip? 1920 I could probably afford that we'll speed time up we'll keep an eye oh hang on on the 18th of March is what I was gonna say let's take a look at our security guards let's train them up again 230 so that's made them oh hang on 10. I can't train him up because I don't have any money. So he is not going to get a pay rise because that would be insane. So I now don't have the money, of course, to build the kickflip, but I can train him up now. So let's do that. How are we going? That's still ticking up. That's lovely. Still haven't caught any more pickpockets, but I remain hopeful. We are approaching the half hour mark, so we really do need to think about stopping at some point soon. Killing floor were overrun quite a bit, and now this is a, on the verge of overrunning as well. Now, people don't really like you, do they? They do not really like you at all. Well, there's a couple, there's a couple. I'm trying to click on people on their own just to see if they happen to be happen to be pickpockets. But what are the chances, eh? Security guards are still unhappy. Nothing we can do about that. 18th of April, we can retrain. Oh, only one more pickpocket needed. And only 0.75 of a month until we get that one. So then we just need to get that monthly profit. That monthly profit, though, is going to be tricky. That is going to be tricky. Our engineer who repairs things seems to be doing a fairly sterling job, doesn't he? So much so that I might have to build some more bins, I think. And hope he can keep on top of it all, because there is a lot of litter around. So let's build some bins. Ah, right. Slow everything down. First of all, let's go on a little bit of a litter scout.
So there's a fair bit there. It's a little bit down here as well, so we'll put some a, a bin there at the very least. I think that's going to cover most of it. Right, so let's take a look at our security arrangement. So they're all on the verge of quitting. So if we just hire like four now. And then speed everything up. The other ones will quit and they will immediately take over. That bin's already down. That didn't take very long, did it? And that one as well. This is why I deleted them down here. Because all the miserable people seem to congregate down here. What I might do though. I might build a path. Between those two. Just to try and even out that little bit of congestion we get down there. Which seems to have worked a treat. Although now this path here looks like it's going to be very busy doesn't it. You little buggers. There's a camera right there. People do not care. I, t I tell you, they do not care at all about cameras. Just want that last pickpocket. That's all I want. If I can get that last pickpocket and that up. Well, that's about to go. Shots being busy are good. And we've hit that one. That's something. That's beautiful. If we can get one more pickpocket... I will be a happy, happy man. We can train our security. One of them's already quit. Jesus. So let's train those up. And let's hire another one. Yeah, this is getting super busy down here now, isn't it? Probably could do with putting... I can't see any cameras around. Well, there's one there. So I could probably do with putting a camera. Around here? Around here. Let's put one there. And let's replace that bin. Might need to hire another janitor. Might need to hire another janitor. Let's do that whilst we're here. And we'll chuck him... Over here. For now. And then we'll probably grab one in a minute and bring him over here. To deal with this stuff. Oh, there's one there now. Look, perfect. He's doing his job. I just want that last pickpocket. Don't make me wait so long. I just want a pickpocket. That's why I hired so many security guards. You, you look shifty, Mr. Red Shirt. Nope. <laughs> you. Nope. That's going to be hemorrhaging money, isn't it? Yep, that's not making any money at all. Wonderful. That one's doing all right, though. Guess if we put someone else down here that brings in a bit more. So let's do that whilst we're waiting. And let's just, let's just build this cake flip. And we might have to call it after that, regardless of how the uh, thankless security are doing. So if we put that quite tight in. Put the entrance. Now we'll put the entrance there on that side. The exit there. Let's build this path up. But we don't need to put it straight across there. We could probably bring it up and cut it across and fit some more rides in behind, couldn't we? So that's what we'll do there. Now let's connect this to a path. We'll go steal a little bit of your uh, wonderful scenery bonus. Thought I could probably bring you down there, couldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. Little bit of scenery on it, but not much. So we'll put a couple of bins around. 
we'll put a camera around there. And then quite a lot of these lovely little yellow flowers, which are oh so useful. Will you please just catch one more? One more pickpocket. Oh, bloody, bloody, bloody. If we can keep those going a little bit longer. And we'll hire just a slew. Just loads of them. Just loads of them. Like what, six was that? Something ridiculous? Which is going to cost us a fortune, but we need that last one. As soon as we have that last one, we can look at firing a few, because it's not going to matter as much. Oh, there he is. There's that last pickpocket, you little beaut. All I need to do is hire like eight security guards. Right, how's this doing then? Oh, come on. So we'll just get this one open and then we will leave it there. It has turned into, of course, as I should have expected, a normal length episode. Despite all of my intentions to the contrary. That's got to be enough. Yeah, I thought it might be. Right. 11. Open. Okay, so... We have now completed all of the objectives apart from sustaining a monthly profit of $5,000 for three months, which is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. To do that, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I suppose we need to keep guests a bit happy. That's why I hired another uh, janitor, though, to try and keep that rubbish down a bit, which seems to be working. Seems to be working. I can't see too much dotted around. Oh, we were going to use this area, weren't we? We were going to get rid of a load of this stuff. All these trees and stuff. And we were going to use... A lot of this stuff here. A lot of this area here. That stuff I cannot delete. Can I not delete you? Oh, I can. Okay. Just couldn't multi-select you for some reason. That's fine. I don't care that that security guard's quit either. So, this is a little bit more room for us to fit in some, some of the smaller rides, really, isn't it? That's the plan. So if we just get rid of a lot of this stuff... That will hopefully remind us when we see a nice big open area next time. So that's the plan. We will utilize it. We'll delete this path here. Delete this bit here. Squeeze in some rides. Maybe delete a little bit of this little bit here. Put another ride up there, maybe. That's the plan. All right, then. So we have a plan for next time, which we had for this time, but we just completely forgot because we're useless. Looking nice and busy, isn't it? Let's change that. Looking nice and busy. Plenty of rides in there. We are consistently making money, just not quite enough money, really. That's the problem. That's the problem. Is it just security guards that are moaning? It's hard to tell. A few of those. I mean, I am paying a lot of people, a lot of vendors money to do nothing, really. Which is a bit unfortunate, but there we go. So yeah, next time, how's the cake flip's got a few going on it, that's nice, that's enough, that's enough. More than a ride full, which is all that really matters there. So we've got this area down here then to build some more flat rides in. And we have this area and this area to put a couple of roller coasters in. Hopefully, with all of that in place, that will push our monthly profits up past that elusive $5,000. We'll have to see. Alright then. 
I hope you are still enjoying Planet Coaster's career mode extras. If you are, please do click the like button. It's genuinely very, very much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, leave any comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Otherwise, I shall see you next time for more exciting roller coaster fun in Planet Coaster. Thank you very much for joining me.